Now there's been an update concerning the crowd disorder that saw the FA Cup fourth round tie between West Brom and Wolves suspended for over 30 minutes. Uh, we can cross live to the Hawthorns, speak to our reporter Anton to Louis. Good morning to you, Anton. What's the latest you have on this? Yeah, West Midlands Police confirming that they've made six arrests. All the people arrested have been released on bail pending further investigation. An investigation, the police say, will be exceptionally thorough. Now, we're starting to get a little bit of a picture painted as to what the police were dealing with yesterday. When you look at the type of arrests that took place both inside and outside the stadium, there were four West Brom fans arrested, two Wolves supporters arrested as well. Inside the ground, we've got two people arrested on suspicion of assaulting police officers, another two arrested on suspicion uh, of public disorder offences, including charging police officers and for, on a fray for a violence in the stands as well. Another person arrested for picking up the corner flag and wielding it as a weapon as well. One person before the game, a 16-year-old, arrested in a local pub uh, on suspicion of carrying an offensive weapon as well. Police confirming that a number of officers were injured yesterday here at the Hawthorns. We actually heard from Chief Inspector Tim Roberts from West Midlands Police in the last hour saying that the yes violence we saw yesterday was completely unacceptable aimed at both fans and officers. And they're saying also that they're working with the clubs and the FA, that the uh, investigation is underway. They're in the process right now of reviewing body cam footage and CCTV over the next few days and the next few weeks as they try to find more perpetrators. So the police investigation looks like it will be a widespread one and it's very much ongoing. So that's, that's the police investigation. West Brom have said they will work with the FA to investigate the incident. Just remind us of the sanctions, though, that both clubs could face here. Yeah, it's a little bit too soon to sort of know what the FA is going to do. Their investigation is very much on the way. They were very quick to point out that they will take action after what we saw here at the Hawthorns. Look, potential punishments, I suppose, include, well, definitely fines for, for both clubs, but also, I suppose, it's more the fact that will there be sort of stand closures, stadium closures, things like that. Remember, obviously, West Brom in the playoffs, in the championship. If they go up, we'll see this fixture twice in the Premier League at least next season. The big thing is the club is working, the authorities are working, the police are working hard to try to make sure what we saw yesterday doesn't happen again, not just in the Black Country Derby, but obviously just all throughout the country. And that's what they're working hard to figure out, A, what happened, and B, to make sure it doesn't happen again.